Well, Terry Holland's Kaz at 6'6 certainly has an advantage, but as you said, he'll probably use this as a training run. Not in any hurry because his spot in the final is already clinched. Meanwhile, the 5'11 Yorick Dimmick having issues getting the first stone up. Well, Todd, the first two platforms are always tough for the smaller guys. But Terry Hollins is just manhandling the stones. Yarek Dimmick now onto the third stone. Terry Hollins on the fourth one. That weighs 310 pounds. It looks like Terry Hollins isn't even going to mess with the fifth and final stone. Todd, he sure doesn't need it. But Yarek Dimmick's going to give it a go. This is 360 pounds, and Terry Hollins decides to get in on the act. And Yarek doesn't need it. It won't help his cause at all. But it's Terry Hollins currently in second place, all five stones in a time of 44.05 seconds. For Yarek Dimmick, four stones in a time of 34.49 seconds. Terry clearly wasn't going at the stones at 100%, but the big man definitely showed what he's capable of. I guess it doesn't hurt that he outweighs even the final stone, which is 360 pounds. So that'll take us to the final pair. One of these men will reach the world's strongest man final. Dave Oslin of Minnesota knows a win here, guarantees his place in the final. Anything short of that, it's out of his hands. Estonia's Anders Mermis currently holds the second position that Dave Oslin is trying to take. There are several scenarios that will see Mermitz advance, but the easiest way to ensure a place in the final is to beat Oslin here in the Stones. I wouldn't count out Mermitz, but Oslin is really a master of the Stones. Dave Oslin on the left, Anders Mermitz on the right. Oslin with a slight lead, Cash. You don't want to let him get away, but here comes Mermitz. Dave's looking solid with a lot of horsepower. Both men on the fourth stone, that's 310 pounds. It comes down to the last stone, 360 for Dave Oslin and Anders Mormons, and Oslin will get it done. A solid run by Oslin. And Anders Mormons gets the fifth stone, but it doesn't matter. It'll be Dave Oslin who moves on to the final. Well, both men finished with 26 points, but it's Oslin who advances based on his two first place finishes to only one for Mermitz. <sighs> You want to see what it means to earn a spot in the biggest event in strength athletics? Just look at the emotion on Dave Oslin's face as he realizes the job is done. Relief, happiness, it's all there. So Dave Oslin wins the Atlas Stones. Mermitz had a great run through the Stones, but came up just short. Christian Savoy was third, and Terry Hollins was fourth. And right now, a very relieved Dave Oslin is standing by with Kaz.